Hey, fourth graders, it's Mrs. Spears. Um, this is lesson 10.3, and it's on page 561. Um, it's called Parallel Lines and Perpendicular Lines. So um, this is taking classifying angles into kind of a different direction. Um, it's taking actual like lines themselves and seeing how they interact with each other. So there's three types of um, line groups, basically, you can think of. Um, so we'll get into those here in a second. So as you can find models of lines around the world, in the world around you. Um, for example, two streets that cross each other model intersecting lines. Metal rails on a train track that never cross model parallel lines. So we've got three kinds of line groups here. One is called intersecting lines. Um, and lines in a plane that cross exactly one point. So these would be intersecting lines because they only cross in one spot. Um, and it f forms four angles. So here's an angle, here's an angle, here's an angle, and here's an angle. So these two lines intersect together, forming four angles, and they intersect at the point X. So to read this, if you were to describe this to someone, you would say it as line HI, so line HI intersects line JK, JK at point X. And then you write it in symbols um, using your line symbols, line HI and line JK intersect at point X. Parallel lines are lines in a plane that are always in the same distance apart and they never intersect. So do you see there, this distance apart here, same distance here, same distance here, all the way across. Um, they are always the same amount apart from each other and they will never, even if you made these lines longer and longer and longer and longer, they will never cross each other. So this one you would read it as line DE is parallel to line FG. And if you were to write it this way, it reads line DE is parallel to line FG. So if you, let me zoom in there for you. This sign right here that has the two lines right next to each other like this, that means is parallel to is what it means. So if you see those two lines in between um, two written lines, then you know that those two lines are parallel. They'll never cross each other. And perpendicular lines are lines in a plane that intersect to form four angles. So all perpendicular lines are intersecting lines, but not all intersecting lines are perpendicular. They're only perpendicular if when they cross, they make four right angles. These ones made two um, obtuse angles and two acute angles. So these are just intersecting. Perp or in perpendicular, they will intersect and form all four right angles. So this reads that line LM is perpendicular to line NO, makes right angles when it crosses. And the symbol for that is this little perpendicular symbol here. Line MO is perpendicular to line NO. So then it says, tell how the streets appear to be related, right? Perpendicular, parallel, or intersecting. So we have 36th Street and Broadway. So here's 36th Street goes all the way down here to Broadway. Um, these are, there's an obtuse angle, an obtuse angle, or an acute angle, and an acute angle. These are not right angles, but they do cross each other, which means those two streets are intersecting. You know, like when you're driving the car with your family and you get to an intersection, like where the lights are and you're, you have to cross the street or another, that's an intersecting street. So that, like we call them intersections here in the United States. Um, and then we've got 35th Street and 7th Avenue. Here's 35th Street and 7th Avenue. Those make good right angles there. So there's right angles all the way around. They cross each other, which means it makes them perpendicular. And 37th Street and West 36th Street. So that would be 37th and 36. These two streets will never cross each other. Yeah, they, they have lines or roads that they both share. Like this one, they both cross Broadway, but these two streets themselves will never cross each other, which means they're parallel. So that's an, oh, like a real world example of these. So turn the page, we're on page 562 now. So it says draw and label ray because, oh, we can't read, see that, sorry. Ray um, YX, because it starts with an endpoint and has an arrow. It's perpendicular, 
blah, 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 perpendicular to ray YZ. Um, and it's intersecting at point Y. Okay. So it says draw and label ray um, YX. So they actually gave you that down here. Okay. So I'm going to draw this in. It says the intersect at point Y. So I'm going to put the Y here. Put the X over here. So that's ray X, Y, X. And then draw and label ray Y, Z. Well, they intersect at this point, which means they're going to share point Y. So I'm going to draw another one from this. I've got Y, Z. I'm going to draw that one in there. So then it says make sure um, ray YX and ray YZ intersect at point Y. So I'm double checking to make sure that the drawing I made fits the description they asked for. So YX, ray YX, and um, YZ, YZ are intersecting at Y. Yes, they both cross at point Y. Okay. And you can draw them this way. Well, I can't actually because they're they're rays, so they stop there. So and then make sure the rays are perpendicular. Ooh. Oh, oh, because they're they're um, yep. See, um, yep. Sorry, I messed up. Backtrack. Um, label. Make sure they're perpendicular. So I'm just actually gonna change the angle of this a little bit. I was paying attention when I drew that. Sorry about that, guys. Um my dot and then I'm going to draw the other one straight up so that it makes a right angle to show that it's perpendicular there we go thank goodness for erasers so how can you check if the two rays are perpendicular you check to make sure that they form a right angle so make sure they form oops form a right angle and if they form a right angle that means that you drew them correctly as a perpendicular set so it says name the figure you drew we just drew a right angle so I'm gonna say this is angle um, angle Z Y X remember the the vertex of the angle has to go in the middle of your name so Z Y X and it could also be X, Y, Z, however you want to do it. And can you classify the figure? Yes, it is a right angle. And the reason behind that is because we had two lines perpendicular to each other and that, that forms right angles. So that's how I know that this is a right angle. Okay, so it says draw and label um, line segment QR is parallel to line segment ST. So think parallel lines never intersect. Parallel line segments are parts of parallel lines. So I'm gonna draw line segment QR. And line segment ST. So these two line segments are parallel to each other because they'll never cross each other. If I were to make them longer, those they still shouldn't cross each other. So these are parallel lines. So it says use the figure for two and three. So we're going to use this rectangle over here to help us with this. Name two line segments that appear to be parallel. So if I look over my rectangle, um, I could do line segment P or B and C is parallel to F D. I could also do um, line segment CD is parallel to BF. Um, either one of those is fine. I'm just going to do the long ones. So I'm going to do line segment CD is parallel to the other set of lines that doesn't cross it is BF. Like I said, you could do the two short ones too. Either one of those would work. I just chose the long ones for mine. And name two line segments that appear to be perpendicular. So they form a right angle. Well, in this rectangle, all the angles are right angles. 
So this one I'm going to say line segment CB is perpendicular to line segment BF. So line segment CD is perpendicular to line segment B. Oh, no. Sorry. C. Oh, I chose CD. Oops. Well, that was messy too. Good gravy. That's what happens when you do this one handed. So CB, start it over, CB is parallel to BF, or is perpendicular to BF. Okay. Alrighty, moving on. So we've got page 563 next. These ones use groups of lines and line segments and parallel and perpendicular. You got throws them all into one big picture. So you're going to use this whole big picture to kind of find some different answers. There may be more than one answer for a lot of these ones because you're using such a big figure. You can find different ones in it. So it says name a pair of lines that are perpendicular, which tells you right there. There are a couple answers there. So I see, I know perpendicular lines make right angles. So I can see this right angle right here. So I'm going to say um, line FJ is perpendicular to line H. G. So line, because they got arrows on the end of them, F, J is perpendicular, so make the perpendicular symbol, perpendicular to line H, G. So name a pair of lines that appear to be parallel. To me, it looks like these two lines right here are parallel. They're never going to cross each other. They're crossing other lines, but these two are never going to cross each other. Um, these two could definitely cross each other. At some point, they cross there. Those cross there. So I would have to use these two lines right here. So I'm going to do line DC is parallel to line FJ. So line D, C is parallel to line F, J. Okay, this says draw and label the figure described. So I'm going to do some of these with you. And then I'll have you try some on your own. Um, so this first one says line segment R, S is parallel to line segment T, U. So I'm going to draw two line segments that are parallel to each other. So they're not going to cross each other. R, S, and T, U. These two are parallel. Now, these I, I drew mine kind of funky. So if you did stretch mine out, they would probably cross each other at some point. But just do your best with that. So now I have Ray, K, L, and K, M. So I'm going to do one ray that says K to L. And this one has a K in it as well, which tells me these two are shared. So I'm going to draw another one that has a K as well. It shares the K and is an M. So these two rays make up an angle together, actually. So you could rename that as an angle if you wanted to. And then this one shows that line segment CD is perpendicular to line segment DE. So I got line segment CD is perpendicular. So I'm going to draw me a right angle to that. Oh, actually, they share the D. So I'm going to have to do it from the D. Doop, 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 doop. I could have also just switched the letters, it doesn't matter. There's my other one, D, E. So line segment C, D, this first one, is perpendicular. It makes a right angle to line segment D, E. All right, I want you to try these on your own. Um, go ahead and pause the camera. Remember, these are um, perpendicular. Um, intersecting, which means they don't make any particular angles, in gen um, you know, specifically. And these ones are parallel, so be careful with those symbols. So pause. Okay. 
And here's your answers. So I have line JK is perpendicular to line LM. So I'm going to draw one straight up and one sideways. So this is line JK. It's perpendicular to. And to show that for sure, I'm going to draw the little right angle symbol in there just to show whoever's looking at this that I meant those to be perpendicular, exactly right angles together. So this is line L. Um. All right, um, line ST intersecting line UV at point X. So the X is not built into either of these lines, so it's going to have to be in the middle somewhere. So I've got line ST intersects. Eh, let's draw a different angle. Let's draw them small. Intersects, I mean, it's not perpendicular, it's not parallel. Um, so it's any way that you squish them is fine. Um, and then you've got U and V, and this is in the intersect at point X. So we're gonna make this intersecting point here, point X. And then I've got line, uh, line AB is parallel to line FG. So I'm gonna draw line AB. is parallel to, so I'm going to draw a parallel line as best you can, and F, G. All right, so then we got these two down here. This is, Dan says that um, line H, L, so H, L right here. I'm going to just kind of go over that line to remind me that that's the one they're talking about right now since there's a whole bunch of them on there, is parallel to line IM. So let me find IM here. Um, is Dan correct? Are they parallel to each other? They don't touch each other, but if we were to continue these on, so if I were to make these bigger, you would see that they do cross each other eventually somewhere else. So these are not parallel lines because if extended, they will intersect. So I'm gonna say no, because if you extend them, they will intersect. And the last one, name two intersecting line segments that are not perpendicular. So two lines that intersect but do not make perfect right angles. Um, so this could have a couple different answers. You could do um, line GK intersects with uh, line JK or JL um, or JM. <laughs> so you get like this line intersecting with this whole line. Um, I would say that these two lines you could use because you know that eventually they would be extended to intersect to each other. So that's fine too. Um, lots of different possibilities with these. The only thing you can't use would be these two lines together because they're definitely parallel lines. Um, and you also could not use this line with the long line because that makes a, pair, a, per, a perpendicular line segment. So um, you can't use those. But the rest of them, there's lots of different answers for this one. All right, guys, if you have any questions for me, you can send me a message. You know, that was kind of a lot at one time. Um, but if you have any questions, you can send them to me or you can join me for Zoom today. And I will do page 565 with you at Zoom. Um, I'll see you guys then or I'll see you in the next video. Bye.